And welcome back. I'm Tyler Cunnington in for Rob Namnoom tonight. The Colorado College Tigers have put together one of their better seasons in recent memory. They've earned themselves a number 10 ranking in the country with some impressive ranked wins under their belt like North Dakota, Denver, Minnesota. But right now they're focused on their conference playoffs, which begin this weekend against the number 12th ranked Omaha Mavericks. Just under a month ago, CC and the Nebraska boys squared off, which saw the Mavericks win 3-0 and then tie with CC. Since then, the Tigers have notched wins against Minnesota Duluth and number four ranked Denver. But now the Mavericks are coming to Ed Ro Robeson Arena this weekend for the quarterfinals of the National Collegiate Hockey Conference Tournament. It's an advantage the Tigers feel will be crucial in the first step towards a hopeful NCAA tournament bid, something they haven't earned since 2011. Obviously, a ton of video. Um, it's watching our games against them. Um, you know, we got them home this time, which, which will be nice for us, a little advantage there. But we know they're a good team, and it's just about taking their strengths and um, being able to attack those and um, attack their weaknesses as well. So a lot of video. The Tigers haven't recorded a 20-win season since the 2010-2011 season. It's a stark improvement from winning just nine games two seasons ago. Meanwhile, last night, instead of just re-signing one of their own players again, the Denver Broncos front office went out and grabbed a defensive lineman, Malcolm Roach, from the New Orleans Saints, on a two-year contract worth up to $8 million. The D-tackle was taken undrafted by the Saints in 2020 and played under then-coach Sean Payton for multiple seasons, bringing in some familiar chemistry and understanding of Payton's style of play. The 6'3", 290-pounder tallied 64 total tackles and one sack in 25 games over the last two seasons with only three starts for New Orleans. But Pro Football Focus has ranked Roach as one of the best run stoppers in the league in the second half of last season. Roach will either be a rotational piece or a potential starter. Either way, the Broncos got him on the payroll to ideally help the Broncos' dismal run defense, which was ranked 30th in the NFL last season. Lots of questions remain on the Broncos roster, including quarterback, obviously, with oh, yeah. Danger Russ heading to the Steel City. Not Pueblo, though, but Pittsburgh. It, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a thought that uh, Darnold, you know, could, could end up yes. here. Some talks of that yes. very Him, briefly. Between but. here and Minnesota, and obviously earlier today he signed with the Vikings, them yeah. losing Kirk Cousins over to Atlanta. So lots of big names shifting around. Unfortunately, not too many coming here to Denver yeah. so far. But free agency officially starts tomorrow, so that opens up. Maybe some opportunities. This so maybe does. some more movement coming. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Hopefully, thanks. All Let's right. get it over to Mary for a last check of our forecast. Mary.